Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. So in that last game, my warlock totally was dead, and then kind of totally undied. So obviously he's an undead warlock. But somehow, because my opponent's deck completely failed them, I'm still here. And we're going to see if we can get up to six, or preferably seven wins. Looks like I might be slightly improving my warlock percentage after all. Warlock being one of my classes that has been underperforming compared to the average. So we have stats now being gathered. Gul'dan! Who Versus is awesome and putting a little bit too much effort into it. Your soul shall it be is mine. cool to see what Your my like, weaker classes are and all that stuff. Uh, fist gone. Fist of Draxus. No, we're going to ditch all the fists. Don't need starting hand fists. I don't have like fast discard stuff. Hey, haven't seen Void Crusher in a long time. I I think after seeing how they work out in action, I feel like I may have underestimated this guy. Like maybe I should have taken all three or four that I could have had. Although my deck was already too expensive, but I don't know. They kind of like blow themselves up a lot of the time. But it is a very strong power. Very strong. You are not starting hand material. I could coin this guy out, and it'd probably be good, but I think I'm going to coin out the Ogre Brood. I'm going to go for that, because I have such a good first turn play. A lot more things would defeat him than would defeat this. Although if my opponent has a Soul Fire or a Shadow whatever, Shadow Bolt, he can totally take this guy out. But... Like, the ooze won't get to this guy unless there's some other stuff involved. So maybe he can get some work done. Although if he randomly hits the ooze after the ooze is at one hit point, that will be kind of sad. Ow. Drawing a card, okay. So not shadow bolting him, that's a good sign. Um, okay. Maybe that's another bad thing to randomly hit, I guess. Uh, I'm going to attack first and then decide what to do. Okay, so if I play this guy, he's just going to get killed by one of these things. Which is probably going to happen anyway. Let's, let's just draw a card. Drawing cards are fine. Makes him cheaper. He may come out eventually. I feel a little bit less bad about drawing cards against another Warlock, since we're both beating the crap out of each other. And, of course, he has this guy out, so... No, 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 no. Okay. I was just like, less than four. Just give me less than four damage. Don't insta-kill it. Let him take out another minion, and I'm okay with that. But fine, that's fair. Random BS four damage would have been sick. All right. Nullify. Nullify are very good against these guys. And actually, I've taken enough hit, hit point damage that when this guy dies, I'll actually get a bunch back. That is not as good. Okay, you trade the goon patrol, you can take him out. Up with a clear board. Now that means I'm less likely to damage him, but I'm probably going to put stuff out, so it's not going to work out in my favor, is it? Eww. Well, I'm just going to play, guys. So that's what I'm going to do. Play guys and inspire him, at which point he will not be killed by one hit from the goal. Trade! Also, I now get my full hit point refund when this guy dies. Unless my opponent has a plan to silence him. Something tells me he's not going to play the Wailing Ghoul right now with Ogre Time, or Troll. So used to saying Ogre Time, but with like Troll Boy out here. I don't think he wants to silence this guy. This guy's kind of a crappy deal if he's silenced. His stats take into account the fact that he has a crazy ability if he's allowed to make use of it the way he wants. Okay. So far, the damage evening out. Not going to last for long. Nope. Okay. I think this is one of those cases where I'm going to have to just lose the cards for the Doom Guard and take him out. In which case, I'm hoping it doesn't fist him, because that would be annoying. Like, it would be such a waste. If I had two more mana, I could play this guy and then just 
do his thing, but I could just fist, and if it hit this guy, I'd be able to finish him off with demon fire. But that would take my whole turn, and there's a 50-50 chance that with this would hit the warlock uh, instead, and then I'd be in a bad place. So let's just do this. Aww. I like that guy. Oh, well, die. I, this, I, this keeps happening because I keep having the giant in my hand. And he's usually a higher priority. Even though the giant would have been awesome. Oh, the fill cannon, that sucks. I play those a lot when I play them warlock destruction, because they're just really effective. I mean, it's less good in the arena when you can't control your guys as much, but... He can take a lot of fell cannoning. It would be significantly cannonized before it would take him out. It would be a saintly torment guard. Suicide and then what? Why do you fall? Okie dokie. Squire, attend me. Hmm. Ready, Not sir. a great climate for him, but Roman car probably too. Really Evil heckler. That's okay. I don't want to use this guy. Obviously, I'd lose something good. Better than my opponent would lose, guaranteed, so not a good choice. This, expensive and random, so I it does have drawbacks, <laughs> in case there was any doubt. So we're just going to go ahead and, uh, I think, stuff. You know, salty Dog and Mana Addict is so bad I'm tempted to just draw a card. But no, I'm going to throw it. More efficient use of my cards, I guess. So I have a lot of stuff out there. I mean, he can trade with him, or they can both take this out, but hopefully it's hard for them to do both. I don't know. I'm less confident now that he's at five hit points. And there's six damage on the table. I have this feeling I'm going to get routed and I'm going to have nothing left but What's-Her-Face, who I don't even like. She could be strong. This is not the deck. This deck has two spells. That took most of your turn. Okay. Do you have something to kill him, or can you... No. Random. Although he can't get through that, so I'd have to trade this and take most of the damage on him to actually get through that. Mm. I could silence this. It's a little bit of a weird play, but silence this, then use him to kill that, and then I could... Oh, I wouldn't have enough mana to do it. Never mind. I wonder. If I silence him, I could just trade this, which is like weak stuff. Hit him for five, because I'm putting the pressure on him more than he is on me. And play the heckler. That's not the worst. Or I could just draw a card and see. I don't I I do wonder. him and draw a card. I could trade both of these guys first and do that, and then kill one of them but lose him. That's pretty bad. Or I could play him, do it right away, maybe get this, but maybe get that, and kill that. It would be horrible. No, no, no. We're just going to... Your magic shall not save You smell like a leper no. Answer the call of the light. As you came from a leper home. Oh, your mama. I don't know. Not feeling it right now. You you just humiliated the heckler. I'll give it to you, that like kinda sounds fair. Um, okay. Okay, give you a random paladin card, and it was humiliate. Okay. So I could... I can hit for nine. Which means this will not kill you. I'm, my guys are pretty good. I'm probably losing something I better wonder. if I use this. I can just put them out to have them out. I can't blow up much with this Shadow Bolt. I can blow up that guy. I'm wondering if I should just draw a card. What would I get that would help, though? Hit for nine... I don't think I have a power overwhelming in here. Um, I would just win so if I got the Doom Guard, but I already used the Doom Guard, so that's not going to happen. I don't have two Doom Guards, do I? No. Urgh. 
Interesting. I think I'm just gonna play this stuff. I'm just gonna play him. I'm just gonna shadow bolt him. Not even that fantastic. But yeah, I'm just gonna do the damage. I have lots of hit points, my opponent has few. Since we're both warlocks, that's like a big extra advantage for me. <coughs> and if he eliminates my forces too effectively, then I can eventually do so to him. Or I can just hit you for five if you don't do something about it. Hence, drawing a card had no drawback. So yeah, it's a door move. Okay, so I keep winning. It's always incredibly weird to me when I get crushed early on, and then the deck just keeps like going and going and going, but it's not dead yet, so yeah. Definitely helping my Warlock stats though. 2 to 1 win rate over 9 games. And that's assuming I lose this one. Which I mostly am. But I was assuming I lost, like, the last... All of them. So... Gul'dan yeah. Versus Uther. That's not really true. I kind of... I kind of I figured I would win, uh... Honor. When I was 0-2, I kind of figured I would win one or two games. But... Because the matchmaking does usually manage that for me. Uh, you're not great starting hand material, and I guess I gotta keep the Shadow Bolt, because otherwise I have no control over the situation if I just draw bad stuff. Imp Gang Boss could be good. I've not seen a lot of these two at all, in all these games. Like, where the hell have you been? Uh, not gonna go too far here. I'm gonna play him anyway, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get down. I could coin out Ogre Time, or I could coin out the Gang Boss. If he puts out something I can... F like, if he's putting out stuff I can fight, the Gang Boss might work out well for that early game, and also being less random. So, yeah, I'm gonna lose this guy to get the secret, but I gotta do something about it. No! He's got an Avenge instead. Catalog that fact. I can trigger the... if he just makes another weak guy in some description, I can blow one of them up. Reporting for duty. Or I, rather, I can kill one and then blow up the one that gets avenged. Uh, Muster's pretty rough. It's not the plus one plus one secret though, because I don't think that cares if you have any guys left alive when you do it. So, if that's an like, I can kill one of these guys, which I'm going to do anyway, right? Let's see if it's an avenge, I can just blow up the guy who gets the avenge. Yeah. Is it worth blowing him up? Yes, because he can just take out any of these guys anyway, so I might as well just annihilate him. He currently does not have very good ways to deal with him. I'm coming out okay in these trades. That would finish it much more quickly. You don't want to be hammering and minioning your way through this guy, though. Hammering through the 1-1s one -one is fine, because that's not hurting him particularly. Oh, I could get some taunt out. That, this, this should do pretty well. I'd be giving him a secret if I kill that. I don't want to do that. I'm concerned about giving him the plus one, plus one secret. He's got a bunch of guys. That would work out really well for him if I gave that to him on my turn. Then he got like a 2 2 2 2 4 3. Because this would survive hitting him, mostly. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to take out the secret. Even though these two can take this out, and he will get a secret, I am a little bit worried about that new one, the, the plus one, plus one. Which I don't know what it's supposed to be called. I would call it a crusade, because that was the old school Magic the Gathering thing that gave plus one, plus one to one. Of course, it was 
Well, this one's permanent too, actually, when it goes off. So, yeah. So this one's arguably more permanent because you can't just destroy it and have it shrink down. But on the other hand, the other one was a separate thing where if they didn't destroy it, you could just put out new guys who would also get the bonus. So. Different games, different cards. This guy got his money's worth, that's for sure. That's your ghoster. Ah, uh, okay. Well, he's a 5-5 five, five and he just healed my opponent from full. That's not good. That is quite literally not good. Uh, I'm gonna go with him. Anyway. You for some damage. Although giving him, hitting him for a secret now might not be so bad, but I don't know. Timing-wise would be good, but I'd still probably rather force him to use his... Well, no, that, that gives him more control, but what's he going to really do differently? Well, there's the dreaded Murloc Knight. He's getting 1-1 one, one, and a random Murloc, which could be something huge. It's a 2-1, which is still pretty darn good for something you get from that. So I do have to kill him. Unfortunately, the ogre is ill-equipped to terminate the right guy. Plus, he could just kill my ogre with this guy if he's worried about that. So I'm probably in bad shape here. As he spends forever deciding what to do. Let me think. He could definitely neuter my force, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. So he's willing to give this guy up to protect the Murloc Knight, which I think makes sense. Quickly. If you do that, then I won't have enough damage, so, yep, that's pretty bad. Oh, wait, I, I do get this, okay, could be worse. I was forgetting about that. Actually, I could turn him into a 3-3. If I really want to kill the Murloc Knight and leave this alive, I could. Seems kind of insane, though. Oh, no, I could, yeah, instead of boosting this guy, that'd be dumb. Hit it for two, blast it for two, and then kill him. And then, um, and then the situation is kind of stabilized. Sadly, his two crappy guys can easily take this out. And probably will. But next turn I have good seven mana plays. Reporting for duty. Silvermoon shall not fall. So forever be known as the Mustard Paladin. He mustered, and then he mustered, and then he mustered again. Well, and only twice so far, but like, how many musters does it take? Well, you're getting me not, nowhere so far. So, this is much tougher for surviving that stuff, if it doesn't get, like, equality. As much as I would like to put him out and draw the cards, and maybe I should have, because drawing the cards would be very valuable, the, the Jormungar can survive this force much better. Uh, much less well now, but even then, these guys would have easily taken this out and still done damage to me. Now he's got to choose, but he's chosen to kick my ass, and this won't work, so there's not much I can do. These guys are going to be, like, not killable. Ugh, I am so dead. I, I'm just toast. Odds of me surviving the next turn are pretty low. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he needs one damage to kill me. I could have not done that, but like, I'm doomed. I like that little pause after the first guy. It felt like he was seeing kind of secret. It was probably just like lag. So do you have something to do the one damage? Heal yourself more, just to rub it in, but you don't have the finisher. And I have nothing to protect myself at all. So I die if I draw a card, basically. So yeah. Ended up being a pretty good run, though. I finally won enough games to convince it to like run me into someone who had like a sick deck. 
That was a pretty rough paladin, but I don't know. It's okay, I got really far, even though my deck was pretty mediocre. Now I get to try a new deck and hopefully get some more better cursed Really? The old school pack? There are lots of, like, legends, and actually still some, like, epic cards and stuff I don't have. From There might even be some rares I don't have from the original set. But the odds of me getting something that I want are incredibly low, whereas if it was the new expansion, there would be a really good chance. I actually need the Mortal Strike, so not bad, I guess. But, yeah. we. But, it was a good run, as I said, and we'll see what I can come up with in the new TGT Arena environment next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.